So we have 6x squared minus 120x plus 600 equals 0. Like always, pause this video and see if you can solve for x, if you can find the x values that satisfy this equation. All right, let's work through this together. So this, the numbers here don't seem like outlandish numbers. They, they seem like something that I might be able to deal with and, and I might be able to factor. So let's, let's try to do that. So the first thing I like to do is see if I can get a, a coefficient of 1 on the second degree term, on the x squared term. And it looks like actually all of these terms are divisible by 6. So if we divide both sides of this equation by 6, I'm still going to have nice integer coefficients. So let's do that. Let's divide both sides by 6. So if we divide the left side by 6, divide by 6, divide by 6, divide by 6, and I divide the right side by 6. So if I do that, and, and clearly if I, if I do the same thing to both sides of the equation, then the equality still holds. On the left-hand side, I am going to be left with x squared, and then negative 120 divided by 6. That is, let's see, 120 divided by 6 is 20. So that's minus 20x. And then 600 divided by 6 is 100. So plus 100 is equal to 0 divided by 6, is equal to 0. So let's see if we can factor, if we can, if we can express this quadratic as a product of two expressions. And the way we think about this, and we've done it multiple times, if we have something, if we have x plus a times x plus b, and this is hopefully a review for you, if you multiply that out, that is going to be equal to, that equals to x squared plus a plus b x plus a b. And so what we want to do is see if we can factor this into an x plus a and an x plus b. And so a plus b needs to be equal to negative 20. That needs to be a plus b. And then a times b, right over here, that needs to be equal to the constant term. That needs to be a times b right over there. So can we think of two numbers that if we take their product, we get positive 100, and if we take their sum, we get negative 20. Well, since their product is positive, we know that they have the same sign. So they're both going to have the same sign. So they're either both going to be positive or they're both going to be negative, since we know that we have a positive product. And since their sum is negative, well, they both must both be negative. Other, you can't add up two positive numbers and get a negative. So they, most, they, they, they both must be negative. So let's think about it a little bit. What negative numbers, when I add to each to the when when I add them together, I get negative 20. When I multiply, I get a, I get 100. Well, you could try to factor 100. You could say, well, negative 2 times negative 50, or uh, negative 4 times negative 25. But the one that might jump out at you is this is negative 10 times. Or I'll write it this way: negative 10 times negative 10, and this is negative 10 plus negative 10. So in that case, both our a and our b would be negative 10. And so we can rewrite the left side of this equation as, I can rewrite it as x, and I'll write it this way at first, x plus negative 10 times, times x plus negative 10 again. x plus negative 10. And that is going to be equal to 0. So all I've done is I've factored this quadratic. Or another way, these are both the same thing as x minus 10. I could rewrite this as x minus 10 squared is equal to 0. And so the only way that the left-hand side is going to be equal to 0 is if x minus 10 is equal to 0. You could think of this as taking the, the square root of both sides. And it doesn't matter if you're taking the positive or negative square root or both of them. The square root of 0 is 0. And so we would say that x minus 10 needs to be equal to 0. And so x, adding 10 to both sides of this, you have x is equal to 10 is the solution to this quadratic equation up here.